Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we will do part 3 of chapter Trigonometry. In part 1 and part 2 of this chapter, we learn trigonometric ratios and their relationship. Now, in this part 3, we will learn trigonometric ratios of specific angles. So, let's start and first learn trigonometric ratios of 0 degree and 90 degree. In a given right angle triangle, the trigonometric ratios for acute angle theta are sin theta equals to perpendicular upon hypotenuse, cos theta equals to base upon hypotenuse and tan theta equals to perpendicular upon base. Now let's first find the trigonometric ratios of 0 degree. As theta becomes smaller and smaller, line segment BC also becomes smaller and smaller. And finally, when theta becomes 0, point C will coincide with point B. Consequently, at theta equals to 0 degree, perpendicular equals to 0, and hypotenuse equals to base. Now put the values in sine theta equals to perpendicular upon hypotenuse and we get sine 0 degree equals to 0 upon hypotenuse which is equal to 0. Therefore cosec 0 degree equals to 1 upon sine 0 degree which is equal to not defined. Now let's put the values in cos theta equals to base upon hypotenuse and we get cos 0 degree equals to hypotenuse upon hypotenuse which is equal to 1. Therefore sec 0 degree equals to 1 upon cos 0 degree which is equal to 1. Now students, let's put the values in tan theta equals to perpendicular upon base and we get tan 0 degree equals to 0 upon base which is equal to 0. Therefore, cot 0 degree equals to 1 upon tan 0 degree which is equal to not defined. Therefore students, these are the values of trigonometric ratios at theta equals to 0 degree. Now, let's find the trigonometric ratios at theta equals to 90 degree. As theta increase, line segment AB becomes smaller and smaller. And finally, when theta becomes 90 degree, point B coincides with point A. Consequently, at theta equals to 90 degree, base equals to 0 and hypotenuse equals to perpendicular. Now let's put these values in sine theta equals to perpendicular upon hypotenuse and we get sine 90 degree equals to perpendicular upon perpendicular which is equal to 1. Therefore, cosec 90 degree equals to 1 upon sin 90 degree which is equal to 1. Now let's put these values in cos theta equals to base upon hypotenuse and we get cos 90 degree equals to 0 upon hypotenuse which is equal to 0. Therefore sec 90 degree equals to 1 upon cos 90 degree which is equal to not defined. Now let's put the values in tan theta equals to perpendicular upon base and we get tan 90 degree equals to perpendicular upon 0 which is equal to not defined. Therefore cot 90 degree equals to 1 upon tan 90 degree which is equal to 0. Therefore students these are the values of trigonometric ratios at theta equals to 90 degree. Now let's learn 
trigonometric ratios of 30 degree and 60 degree. Consider an equilateral triangle ABC with each side of length 2A. Since it is an equilateral triangle, each angle will be 60 degree. Now draw AD perpendicular to BC. Since it is an equilateral triangle, AD bisects BC and angle A. Therefore, BD equals to DC equals to A. And angle BAD equals to angle DAC equals to 30 degree. Now students, consider the right angled triangle ABD. Here, angle D equals to 90 degree. Therefore, by using Pythagoras theorem, AB square equals to BD square plus AD square. Put the values and we get 2A whole square equals to A square plus AD square. So, 4A square equals to A square plus AD square. Therefore, AD square equals to 4A square minus A square equals to 3A square. So, AD equals to root 3A. Now, to find trigonometric ratios of 30 degree, let's define base, perpendicular and hypotenuse in triangle ABD. Base equals to AD which is equal to root 3A. Perpendicular equals to BD which is equal to A and hypotenuse equals to AB which is equal to 2A. Now let's put the values and we get sine 30 degree equals to A by 2A which is equal to 1 by 2. Cos 30 degree equals to root 3A upon 2A equals to root 3 by 2. Next, tan 30 degree equals to A upon root 3A which is equal to 1 by root 3. Cos 30 degree equals to 1 upon sin 30 degree which is equal to 2. Now, sec 30 degree equals to 1 upon cos 30 degree which is equal to 2 upon root 3 and cot 30 degree equals to 1 upon tan 30 degree which is equal to root 3. So students, these are the values of trigonometric ratios at theta equals to 30 degree. Now, to find the trigonometric ratios of 60 degree, let's define base, perpendicular and hypotenuse in triangle ABD. In triangle ABD, angle B equals to 60 degree. Therefore, base equals to BD which is equal to A. Perpendicular equals to AD which is equal to root 3A and hypotenuse equals to AB which is equal to 2A. Now let's put the values and we get sin 60 degree equals to root 3A upon 2A which is equal to root 3 upon 2. Cos 60 degree equals to A by 2A which is equal to 1 by 2. Tan 60 degree equals to root 3a by a which is equal to root 3. Next, cos 60 degree equals to 1 by sin 60 degree which is equal to 2 upon root 3. Sec 60 degree equals to 1 upon cos 60 degree which is equal to 2. And lastly, cot 60 degree equals to 1 upon tan 60 degree which is equal to 1 upon root 3. So students, these are the values of trigonometric ratios at theta equals to 60 degree. Now let's learn 
trigonometric ratios of 45 degree. Consider right angle triangle ABC such that angle A equals to angle C equals to 45 degree. This implies AB equals to BC because sides opposite to equal angles are equal. Let AB equals to BC equals to A. So by using Pythagoras theorem, AC square equals to AB square plus BC square. Put the values and we get AC square equals to A square plus A square which is equal to 2A square. Therefore, AC equals to root 2A. Now to find the trigonometric ratios of 45 degree, let's define base, perpendicular and hypotenuse in triangle ABC. In triangle ABC, angle A equals to 45 degree. Therefore, base equals to AB equals to A. Perpendicular equals to BC which is equal to A and hypotenuse equals to AC which is equal to root 2A. Now let's put the values and we get sin 45 degree equals to A upon root 2A which is equal to 1 by root 2. Cos 45 degree equals to A upon root 2A which is equal to 1 upon root 2. Then tan 45 degree equals to A upon A which is equal to 1. Next cosec 45 degree equals to 1 upon sin 45 degree which is equal to root 2. Sec 45 degree equals to 1 upon cos 45 degree which is equal to root 2. And in the last cot 45 degree equals to 1 upon tan 45 degree which is equal to 1. So students, these are the values of trigonometric ratios at theta equals to 45 degree. So now we have found trigonometric ratios of 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree. Students, this table is very useful in solving the trigonometric questions. In the next video, I will tell you a trick to remember this table. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then do hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook and make sure to press the bell icon. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.